Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to class. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Hi, how are you? How are you, students? Hello, students. Can you hear me? I have only five students connected. Hello, hello, dear students. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good Hi, night. how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Repeat. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, Good that's the evening. greeting at this time. That's the greeting, okay? okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. How are you today? How are you? How are you? Huh? Yes, how are you? Tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine. How about you? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for asking. I'm fine too. I'm very happy. We have a class with you right now. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Just a moment. Okay, let me see. Creo que se me movió esto. Give me one quick second. Let's see, esto sí ya lo pasaron, me imagino. Todos completaron ya esto. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Vamos. Right here. Oh, sí, se me movió hasta bien atrás. Bear with me a moment, guys. Bear with me a moment. Yeah, bueno, lo que estábamos viendo el día de ayer fue la introducción al present continuous. ¿Cuándo usamos el present continuous? Who remembers? ¿Quién se acuerda cuando usamos el present continuous? Cuando hablamos de algo que está pasando en este momento. Uh -huh. A diferencia del simple present que hablábamos de cosas de rutina, ¿se acuerdan? Como cosas que hacíamos todos los días, toda la semana, todo el mes, como I take a shower, right? I visit my family, I go to work, eh, I do exercise in the morning, I drink coffee, right? Eh, <laughs> I play soccer. I do exercise. I study English. Lo que ustedes hacen. I study English every day at 9 p.m. Uh -huh. Entonces, todo eso era simple present. Ahora estamos usando present continuous. Y present continuous es para hablar de acciones que están sucediendo en este preciso momento. ¿Cuál era la fórmula para el present continuous? Do you remember? Usando sujeto más be, subject más ver to be y más, más ver el ing y el, y el complemento. ng. Oh, you guys are very intelligent. Yes, that is correct. First, 
you go with the subject. Subject. Y como ya sabemos conjugar el verbo to be, si usted sabe que va a usar el subject she, va a decir she is. Si usted sabe, va a usar el subject you, you are. Entonces, usted ya sabe eso de la conjugación del verbo to be, ¿verdad? So, entonces ahí, subject, verb to be, verb with ing. Verbo con ing, ese ing que en español se traduce como ando o endo, ¿verdad? Eh, además de eso, vimos las que son las time markers, los marcadores de tiempo para el present continuous, que era como en este momento, como decimos ahorita. ¿Cómo se dice eso ahorita? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right ah, en este right momento. Now. Right now. En este momento. Right now. In this moment. In, In this, this moment. moment. Yes. Let's check this video out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right. ¿Cómo les quedaría acá entonces this question? He drink water. Is he is she, is he drinking drink, drinking water? Uh huh. Is he drinking water? Drinking. Drink a drink. Le vamos a poner ing, verdad? Ing. Is he drinking water? Afirmativo, ¿cómo sería? Yes. Yes. Ah, ah, no porque yes. estamos hablando de él. Ah, yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is drinking Correcto. water. Yes, he is. Ah, oh, podemos decirle todo. Yes, he is drinking water. Um, 
no necesariamente como ustedes deseen, ¿verdad? Um, dar la respuesta corta o dar la respuesta completa. Yes, he is. Or yes, he is drinking water. A ver, el siguiente. She study English. Is she, she is studying, studying English? Is she English. studying English? ¿Cómo sería negative? Is not no. studying English. Sería no, vean, no, she is not. Or no, she isn't. She isn't studying okay. English. Puede ser. No, she's not. Repeat. No, she's not. No, she's, no, she's not. No, no, she's, she's not. not. No, no, she's not. Is, no, she isn't. No, no she, she isn't. isn't. No, Ambos she son isn't. negative, ¿verdad? Pero pueden usar cualquiera de los dos. Para el negativo. Si fuera afirmativo, sería yes. Yes, she, yes. Is. she is. A ver, me ayuden acá con esta. They play soccer. Sería present continuous, Are just no question. They playing soccer. Are they playing soccer? Affirmative. Yes, they, yes, they are. They are. Correct. Play soccer. Yes, they are. Hasta aquí. Yes, they are. They are. Ahí. All right. Siguiente. John watch TV. John watch TV. John watching TV. ¿Cómo sería? Está John viendo la tele. Watching. No, empezamos con el verbo to be. Tienen que iniciar con el verbo to be, ya sea are, is, o, or am. No me pueden decir is he, John, porque me están diciendo dos sujetos. O me dicen is he, o me dicen is John. Is John watching TV? Is John watching TV? Affirmative. Yes. 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 La última. Jason and Richard draw, dibujar, draw in the art class. Is Jason and Richard draw the art class? Are Jones, Jason and Richard drawing in the art class? The art class. Um, ok, ¿cómo abrimos entonces la pregunta? Are, are John Richard, and Richard are Jason are, and Richard drawing in the art class? Ok, the let's go, class. affirmative, affirmative. Yes, they are. They are. They are. They are. Yes, they yes, are. are. Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, perfect. Questions? Hasta ahorita. Dice una cuestión, pero dice una compañera en el grupo de WhatsApp que no puede entrar. Que tiene problemas de conexión. No sabe si tiene problemas de conexión o la aplicación. Okay. Gracias, Miss. Muy amable. Excelente. Teacher, mm -hmm. A mí también me dio problemas para entrar a la plataforma. Sí, lo que pasa es que salí tarde de la otra clase, uh, salí como un minuto tarde y pues eso hizo que ustedes no pudieran ingresar. I'm sorry. No, okay. mm -hmm. Pero me voy a quedar, nos vamos a quedar por lo menos dos minutos más para pagar ese tiempo y que a ustedes no les afecte. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue with present continuous. My internet is very slow. One second, please. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, that's objective number five. That's right. Still loading. Voy a desactivar acá my camera. Maybe that's the problem too. Okay. 
Ok. Vocabulary and conversation. What time is it there? Repeat. What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? Is what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Laura, hey, hey, qué son, what time is it? What time is it? Disculpe, ¿y cómo se dice disculpe? ¿Qué hora son? Excuse me, what time is it? Eh, hola, muy buenos días, disculpe, ¿qué hora son? Hello, how are you? Hello, 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 what, hello, time hello, 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 what time is it? What time is it? Hola, muy buenos días. Mi nombre. Ah, no, ya no, ¿verdad? Ya estaba bien emocionada ahí. La teacher. No me emocione todavía. Mi cerebro no da para mucho. All right, let's check. Entonces, cuando yo digo, what time is it? Solo, what time is it? Te estoy preguntando la hora, ¿verdad? What y cuando yo digo, there, what time is it? There, es como, como que estás hablando con alguien de otro país, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hora ¿Qué es? Hora es allá. Aquí. Allá, mis, porque allá, aquí allá. se dice here. Okay. Uh -huh. There uh -huh. is allá. Yeah. There allá. Which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Brasilia. London, Sao Paulo. Casablanca, London. Cape Town, Casablanca. Warsaw, Cape Town. Moscow, Riyadh, Moscow. Seoul, Riyadh. Bangkok, Seoul. Tokyo, Bangkok. Sydney. Tokyo. Now let's listen to a conversation mm -hmm. which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice. Okay, se miraba borroso, pero no todos, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí también. ¿A todos? Sí, a mí también. Ahora ya se ve mejor. Yes, teacher, a mí también. Ok, entonces solo repitamos la conversation. Oh, sí, se ve bien. Ahí está. <coughs> Which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Teacher, se volvió a poner borroso, teacher. Teacher, se volvió a poner y sacamos una foto mejor. Ajá. ¿Será? Sí, teacher. Sí, teacher, es que se puso borroso otra vez. Ahí Cuando se le pone play. Grupo. Cuando le pone play al video se pone borroso. That's weird. Mandaron una foto al grupo. Ah, ya le pusieron. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's continue. which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 
Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion. That's okay. Okay. Um, in the conversation, uh, can you identify? Can you identify an example of present continuous? Calling you. I am calling. I am calling from Australia. Repeat. I am calling from Australia. I am calling from Australia. Correct. That's one example of present continuous. Okay, so do you have any question about this conversation? No? Okay, let's practice the conversation, okay? Teacher Kalev is going to be John. The students are going to be Devi. You ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great, let's go to practice on three, two, one. Hello. 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 Hi, Devi. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Hi. Australia. Australia. I'm, I'm at a conference, conference in Sydney, remember? All right. It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Four in the morning. In the morning. Four a.m. Um, I'm really sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Awake now. That's okay. Repeat. That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Now. Now. Yes. Let's switch. Hello. Hi. Hi. Australia. Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. It's 4 o'clock. Yes, yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. So the time zone in Australia is a lot different than time zone in El Salvador, right? It's very okay. different. Different. Okay, I'm awake now. Okay, let's go to the next stop. Oops. One second. It's taking forever. Okay, here it is. So we already practiced this one. Let's go ahead and move on what time is it repeat what time is it what time is it hi everyone what time is you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time let's listen and repeat it's one o'clock it's 105 it's, it's one five after one it's 115 it's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, 
what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of 1 o'clock, we will say 2. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's 2 o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then, it's 2.30. Or, it's half past 2. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to 3. Our last example, it's a quarter to 3 or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Okay, right there. A clock. A clock. A clock. Is to say that a the clock. time is exact. But I said one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, etc. Okay? So look, cuando la hora está justo, cero, cero. O sea, que está en cero, cero, cero. Solo cuando es exacta se dice a clock. Co a solo clock. ahí, caballero. All right. Y luego... Si es cero algo, cero uno, cero dos, cero tres, hasta el cero nueve, vamos a decir oh por el cero. En este caso, oh. la una cero cinco, it's one oh five. It's one oh five. It's one oh five. Repeat, it's one oh five. It's one oh five. O podemos usar otra forma usando el after, la preposición after. It's five, it's five after, after one. one. It's five La preposición after, after significa it's después. Entonces estoy diciendo que son cinco después de la una. Una. Ok. okay. Next. Me ayuden con su audio, por favor. It's one fifteen. Fifteen lo puedo decir también a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Or a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Okay. Next. Cuando son las y treinta, vamos a decir it's one thirty. It's one thirty. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. Las y media. Seven thirty. 5.30 Muy bien y Para las y 40 vamos a decir It's 1.40 Forma normal It's 1.40 It's 1.40 Así como usamos acá El um, Preposition after Para pasada la hora Acá vamos a usar Before o podemos oh, usar yeah. two. two. Uh -huh. Podemos decir to it's two. 20 to two. two. It's 20, 20 to two. two. It's 20 to two. Y la otra forma, it's 20 to two. Aunque suene como chistecito. Two. Two. two para las y el two para las dos. It's, it's 20, 20 to two. two. <laughs> Luego tenemos cuando falta un cuarto, ¿verdad? Podemos decir la forma normal, it's 1.45. It's 1.45. And the next one, it's a quarter to two. To two. It's a it's quarter, quarter, quarter to, two. to two. Very good, very good. Now, let's do some exercises. <laughs> Watch the dog. Okay. Can you write the time for that, please? Can you write the time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Me escriben esas horas, por favor, y las verificamos. ¿Les parecen tres minutos? Three minutes? Three o'clock. Three minutes? Yes. Okay. Three minutes running. Let's go. 
Escribanlas, prepárenmelas y comparamos en tres minutos. Three minutes. All right, all right. Bueno, vamos a iniciar. ¿Alguien ya tiene la primera? This one. Three o'clock. I'm sorry. It's three o'clock. Es correcto. It's three o'clock. ¿Así la tienen, chicos? It's three o'clock. Yes. yes. Y ese yes. it yes. sería el, el subject it, ¿verdad? El apostrophe y así, ¿verdad? It's. ¿Así me lo pusieron? Sí. It's three sí, o'clock, sí. perfecto. Ahí solo faltaría uh, para completar el contexto especificar si sería a.m. que sería in the morning o si sería p.m. que podría ser in the afternoon, in the evening, etc. Ok, siguiente. What time is it? What time is it here? It's three o five. After five. five. It's three o oh five. five. Repeat. It's three. Next, a quarter. Puede ser, it's three fifteen. ¿Quién la puede ser diferente? It's three in a quarter. Repeat, it's three and a quarter. It's three and a quarter. Y ahí también podemos usar la otra forma diciendo uh, que son. It's a quarter after three. Correcto, it's a quarter after, after three. three. Pueden usar la palabra after cuando la hora ya pasó de, right? Y pueden usar también past. Esta past. también es muy usada, past. Como usted me lo dijo, pero usando past, Miss. ¿Puede intentarlo de nuevo? Ok, it's, it's a quarter past three. Repeat, it's, it's a, a quarter, quarter past three. three. It's a quarter past three. Next. Tres y quince. What time is it? It's three fifty. It's three? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. It's three. 
15. Este, ¿verdad? Fifteen. Sí. It's 3.15. ¿Y este, Miss? ¿Y este cómo les quedó? It's 3.30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. It's 23. It's 23. It's 23. It's 23. It, no, it's 20 to 4. 20 to 4. Yes? To 4. Yes. Okay. Y ahí podemos usar four. las palabritas to, como ustedes me dijeron, it's 20 to 4. O pueden usar la palabra before. Before. Okay? So, okay. en ese caso sería, it's 20 before Four. Okay. Or it's 20 to, right? 20 para last. It's 20 to 4. Okay. It's 20 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult, huh? Okay. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Repeat in the morning. In the morning. morning. Repeat in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. A.M. 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 Quiere decir que si usted levanta que um, se toma un café en la mañana, usted puede decir in the morning o puede decir A.M. Right? A.M. 5 A.M., 6 A.M., 7 A.M. or in the morning. All right. Next. Noon. 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 No Actually, in the afternoon. No. Right? Siguiente. In the evening. 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 Okay. Um, podemos decir in the evening o podemos decir PM. Pero a qué hora específicamente a las seis de la tarde noche, a las siete de la tarde noche y a las ocho de la tarde noche. Ahí vamos a decir... Um, Evening, evening, good evening, it all see here, that right? So let me see. Ahora tenemos at night, at night, in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., p.m., at night, p.m. Oh, con p.m. tenemos desde noon, in the afternoon. In the evening, right? Siempre vamos a usar PM, PM, PM. Midnight, AM. Let's uh, practice this right. time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 AM. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 PM. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. Mm -hmm. It's eight o'clock in the morning. 
it's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Questions, questions, questions. P.M. Es decir, que podemos, podemos decir ya sea in the afternoon o podemos decir p.m. Si decimos, por ejemplo, son las 3 de la tarde. ¿Cómo lo dirían? It's 3 it's three in the afternoon. It's three in the afternoon. O pueden decir it's three p.m. Okay, lo que no pueden hacer es decirme it's three in the afternoon p.m. Ahí sí no, verdad? No me pueden usar los dos, solo uno. Okay. Okay. Very good. A ver, a ver, a ver. Y para decir las Siete del no, las ocho de la noche, a las ocho de la noche, ¿cómo sería? It's eight o'clock at night. It's eight at night, at night, seven. Okay. It's eight p.m. It's eight p.m. Okay, y para, let me see, let me see, para midnight. At night. ¿Y este cuál es? Okay, at night. Para midnight podría ser 12. 12. It's 12. Right? So, let me see. What time, what time do you have English class? What time do you have English class? It's 9 p.m. Repitamos. It's I have, I have, I have, I have. I have. I have. I have. Cuando damos I la actividad, damos la hora de la actividad, vamos a usar at, la preposición at, que en español vendría siendo como cuando nosotros decimos a las tales horas, ¿verdad? a las seis, por ejemplo. Vamos a decir en inglés at. At. Y damos la hora. ¿Ok? It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. Okay, it's 9 p.m. I have class. I have English class. What time does your English class finish? At 10 p.m. Ajá, pero no solo me den la hora, sino tienen que darme sujeto, tienen que darme un verbo y me dicen la hora. Ajá. At 10 o'clock p.m. Okay, vamos a hacer otra prueba, right? One more, one more testing, testing, testing. Um, let me see. Si tenemos aquí, aquí tenemos bastante expression. Let me see. No, no se alcanza a ver. Está borrosito. Sorry about that. What time do you, let me see, go to bed? What time do you go to bed? At 11 o'clock. I go to bed. Repeat, I. I go to bed. Go to bed. I go to bed. Y ahí entra la preposición at. I go to bed at 11 o'clock. Correct. What time do you watch TV? I watch TV at seven o'clock. At at seven o'clock. At, at seven o'clock. Okay, okay, nice, nicely done. Congratulations. Nice job. Thank you for the participation. Para los que están ahí con toda la participación activa. Thank you very much. Vamos a hacer un poquito de introducción con rising and falling intonation, okay? Here we go. One second, please. Okay. There you go. Can you see my screen? 
Hi everyone. Yes, in this class you learn about rising go. and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite or no and Bueno, eh, rising intonation es cuando hacemos que la entonación se escuche como que uh, en la última palabra, ¿verdad? Más, más pronunciado, ¿verdad? Más exaltado. Y por eso es que le llamamos a uh, rising intonation, como que va para arriba. Por ejemplo, las yes, no questions, siempre se les da eh, rising intonation. Ejemplo, is she getting up? Repeat, is she getting up? 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 Dice que si ella se está levantando. Is she getting up? Se está ella levantando. Ok, otra just no question. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Good, good, good. Ahora, las que tienen falling intonation, usually, esas son las que son de WH words. Por ejemplo, what's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? Okay, excellent, excellent. Y la otra, what are they doing? 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 Thank you so much. Practicing pronunciation. This is the best moment and the best place to do it. Okay. Se me trajo esto nuevamente. Give me one second. Here we go. Okay, here it is. Let's watch this one, guys. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of 
present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing? Bueno, esto sí es un poquito más pesadito, right? Quizás vamos a introducirlo con la conversación que está acá. Do you have any question on this conversation, guys? Any expression, any new vocabulary for you? Nope. Ok, entonces yo sí les tengo una pregunta. Um, let me see. What is, what is Steve doing? I'm cooking. No. He is cooking. He is cooking, correct. He, he is, is cooking. cooking. He's a man. He's cooking. All right. Very well. ¿Identifican ustedes alguna otra pregunta o oración acá en la conversación? What are you doing, Steven? What are you doing? What are you doing, Steven? What are you making? What are you making? Very good. What else? What are you cooking that? Why are you cooking now? Now. What are you making? What are you making? Repeat, what are you making? What are you making? What are you making? ¿Qué estás haciendo, right? ¿Qué estás cocinando? Okay, let me just uh, stop sharing and I'm gonna go to the attendance real quick. Chat? Yes, miss. What is this hearing? ¿Qué dice la última parte? Mándeme. ¿Qué, qué significa hearing? Getting eh, tiene muchos significados, pero en el caso, en ese caso decía getting up, ¿verdad? Getting up. Getting up. Es como levantándose. Levantarse. Uh -huh. Ok, attendance. Álvaro Mauricio Canales Villa Toro. Brian Francisco Blanco Peralta. Wow, Brian is absent. Tell me Elizabeth Carias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ernesto Jose Arias Arias. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Eva Margarita Osorio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eva Margarita Osorio Serrano. Okay. Jorge Alexander López Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jam Joana López Enríquez. Present teacher. Perfect. Catherine Joana López Enríquez. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet Rivera Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Alfonso Juarez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Laura, sí, ¿verdad? Laura. No me mencionó, pero aquí estoy. Laura Lisset Peña Castillo. Sí. Excellent. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Griselda Mejía García. Same here. All right. Oscar Rolando Ramírez Orellana. Present teacher. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. I am happy here. All right. Thank you. Vilma Concepción Bindel de Cepeda. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. And Vilma Isabel Morejón Lopez. Present teacher. Perfect. And last but not least, Jennifer Damisela Flores Melendez. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much for your attendance. It's definitely something that we need to improve. Pues sí, ya estamos aquí en este conversation. Let me see. ¿Pueden identificar alguna oración en singular o en plural usando present continuous? Mm -hmm. 
Bueno, por ejemplo, acá cuando ella dice, what are you making? Repeat, what are you making? What are you making? What are you making? What are you making? ¿Qué estás preparando, verdad? What are you making? What are you making? Y también aprendamos el adverbio really, really es para super engrandecer, right? El adjetivo. Ella dijo, okay. well, I am really hungry. O sea que no tenía hambre, sino que estaba hambrientísima, right? I am really hungry. So pongámosla ahí, right? Dictionary, new vocabulary. All right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're going to stop right here with this information. We have y a question mark. Para mañana, pues, vamos a continuar con present continuous. También les decía que podíamos usar el present continuous for the future, right? Pueden investigar eso también, chicos. Let me see. Aparte, en este video tengo mucha información. Acá la fórmula para hacer preguntas. Usamos el WH word. Usamos el verbo to be, am, um, is, or are. Subject, in, verb, with ing. Ok, for example, what is Victoria doing in this case? Let me see if I can put it like now. You can hardly see it. Okay, not a problem. Bueno, chicos, nos vamos a quedar aquí entonces y mañana continuamos at 9 p.m. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. See you tomorrow. My pleasure. Thank night, you, teacher. Night. Thank you, teacher. See you. see you later. Be safe. Be safe. Bye bye. See you later, teacher. Goodbye. Let's see some.